Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this makeup look. It's a get ready with me video. I've never done, I've only done one of these one time, and that was for college. And it got pretty good views, so I decided to do one today. Um, so if you guys want to see how I did this look, keep on watching. Um, I've been doing a lot more videos, and I'm so happy that I am. I've been trying to put up one like every single day. I've been doing it for the last three days. So... If you guys want me to keep doing this, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. But this is not a voiceover. Uh, this is just me straight talk, chitty chatty like video. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Bye! Okay, so to right now, I'm going to start off with my foundation as always. Um, I like to start off with my base and then move into the eyes and then move into like the blush and the bronzer and all that stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a little bit sick. Um, I'm going to be using the Fit Me Maybelline uh, foundation. I love this. I've used this like in almost every video. It's the dewy and smooth uh, look. It's the new look. It's the normal to dry. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I am so in love with this foundation. Like, so in love. Um, I think it's amazing. And I think I'm running out, too. I'm going to have to go buy some more. Okay. So, as always, I like to just, you know... Put it in between my cheeks and then ah my hair is getting in the way let's just put that hair back and then the other side to my cheekbone and then down my chin and onto my forehead Okay, and then after I do that, I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and just, you know, dab that all over my face. You know, dab. It's the only dabbing I do. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah. There's not really much explanation rather than just that. Um, so I don't know if you guys have tell, uh, seen, but I've been trying to, like, upload a new video every single day i don't know what it is but i have really been into filming right now and getting videos up there i mean i love making videos for you guys i love putting stuff out there for you guys for you guys to enjoy to watch and stuff um just let me know when i'm getting a little bit too much i feel like eventually if i like keep going at the pace that i'm in i will eventually run out of things to talk about and to say and to like do but for right now, I am in love. So I'm going to try to keep this going for as long as I can until I run out of time, as always. It's just I've been having a lot of time. I have a lot of time to film now because I'm really, i not really getting much hours at work, which really, really suck. But, thankfully, I have YouTube on the side to, you know, help me out a little bit. Um, this is really difficult to do when you don't have a me. So, okay. And then we are going to go into the concealer. The concealer I'm using is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Don't know what color this is. This, I think this is the medium. And I was going to go with the light, but the light was like way too light for me. So I went with the medium. So, um, so I mean like it's like medium to light. You can tell. Ugh. Man. Okay. And I feel like the Revlon colors, the Revlon one that I like to use, kind of burns my eyes whenever I put it on. So, but it works wonders. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go with the eyeshadow now. So I'm going to be using two different palettes. I'm going to be using the Hard Candy palette. Use some colors that are in here. And, of course, the Naked Basics. So, I'm going to find a eyeshadow brush over here okay this one looks good so I'm using this eyeshadow brush this flat brush and I'm gonna be taking uh, I'm gonna be taking this color and the hard candy color in the hard candy palette and I'm gonna put this all over my eyelid now I do have really hooded eyes like really hooded eyes which really suck so here's a little trick for you guys with hooded eyes, with you hooded eye people out there, men and women, what you guys can do is, I'm going to have to use this mirror right here, 
is whenever you are putting on the eyeshadow to put it on the mobile lid and whenever you see that your whenever you look straight and you see that your eye lid is over is covering the eyeshadow you need to take it up higher to where you can see the eyeshadow for so let me show you an example so I'm just gonna put it on my eyelid Okay, as you can tell when I look straight into the camera, the eyelid is covering the eyeshadow. I can't barely see it, so I'm going to take it up higher so that I am able to see the eyeshadow. Okay, so whatever you do at the top, you got to do at the bottom. So we're going to be taking this little small angled brush, not angled brush, but this little small tip, um, what's it called, eyeshadow brush. And you're going to take it underneath your eyes. So you got to balance it out. So. We're going to be taking this uh, tip uh, eyeshadow brush, and this is for the crease. <coughs> Okay. So, oh, I'm not even showing you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to take this color right here, this dark brown in the hard candy uh, palette, and I'm going to dip that in there, take off the excess on my fingers, and I'm going to find my crease, and I'm going to blend this in here. Now we're going to be taking a blending brush, like so. This is the Soho uh, brush, blending brush, and I'm going to blend the crease out so there's no harsh lines or whatever. So the point of this is that you don't want to see where the line begins and you don't want to see where it ends. So you're just going to keep blending that out until it is soft and nice. You can't really, until you can't really see where it ends or where it starts. Now we got that figured out, we are going to take that same color and we're going to take it underneath the eyes. I'm going to be using this angled little brush right here. I'm going to take it that eyeshadow as close to the lash line as possible tap and then so we're going to try to get this as close to the lash line as possible mm. and same thing on the other eye Then you're going to take uh, the Urban Decay palette, and I'm going to be using the color Crave. We're going to be putting that on the outer corner of our eyes just to uh, darken the eyeshadow a little bit more. So I'm going to be taking this flat brush right here, and I'm going to be taking Crave, and I'm going to just put this on the outer corner of my eye. Okay. And so I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take the uh, same eyeshadow color and brush and just put it on the outer end of my eye and just blend it in. Okay. So like I said, whatever you do to the top, you got to do to the bottom. So we're going to take the small angled little brush. Where'd it go? Here it is. The small little angled brush. And we're just going to put it on the outer ends of our eye. Just to darken that up a little bit. So just on the end. So like a quarter way in. And the same thing on the other eye. We're just going to 
take that a quarter way in. Like so. Okay. Like so. And then we are going to line our eyes with the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in black. And so I am going to line the top waterline of my eye as best as excuse me as much as best as I can so and just water our line halfway in same thing on the other eye just a halfway in and then we are gonna go in with ooh, my phone and then we're gonna put mascara in so we're gonna curl our lashes first I didn't even explain what I was doing we're gonna curl our lashes and then mascara. Oh. So the mascara I'm using is going to be the Maybelline Last Sensational. This thing is amazing. I love this thing. And, uh. So since I do have small eyes, I like to just focus on the ends of my eyes rather than the in, inner, order, inner corner. Inner corner. <laughs> so instead of my inner corner, so I'm just going to... Ah! Oh my god! Ah! I got mascara on my cheek. This happens a lot of the times, you guys. And it's so frustrating. I can't even, like, ugh. I'm sorry. This might be disgusting to most of you guys, but, you know, go ahead and do what you gotta do. Okay. We're good. And then... Okay, so the last step we need to do is bronzer. Love, 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 love bronzer. Okay, so the bronzer I'm going to be using is the NP Bronzing Powder Set Cosmetics. I told you guys I don't know where to get this, and this was in my favorites video, so I'm going to be using it in this video too. Um, I'm going to be using my Angled Equal Tools brush. I need a new one because this thing, like, seriously sucks. So I might go to Ulta today and buy myself a new angle brush because, you know, girl needs some. Okay, so what I like to do, uh, hair out of the way, is just angle it from where my hairline starts all the way into where my cheekbone is, if that makes sense. Okay, so wherever my hairline starts, where should I do it like that? Okay, and then just bring it down. I like to use tapping motions. I do not like to rub in the uh, powder because it'll just mess up my foundation because I do have dry skin. So if I were to rub it in, my dry skin would just come out more, which, you know, we don't need that. We don't need dry, flaky skin right now. I was about to, oh my gosh, I was about to run this thing all over my eyeshadow. That would have been a bad situation. So let's use the right thing and let's do this all over again. Yeah. Okay, that's much more better. Woo! You know, bronzing up our face. Who doesn't want that, right? Who doesn't want a tan face? Same thing on the other side. Ugh. I don't know how to do this angle. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the most uncontrolled thing. Okay, I'm gonna try. So... Okay. Yeah pretty good okay and then I just like to blend that all in if you know I had a completely brush but I don't so I'm gonna use, no. Ugh. I'm gonna use this thing to blend in my foundation I mean my bronzer so I like to like lightly blend it Okay, and then last thing I like to do is run the bronzer up onto my temples and like run it down. And then on my jawline. And then we need lipstick. 
So the lipstick I like to use is Stormy Sahara. I think it's Maybelline. Is this Maybelline? Ooh. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know. Some like random number talking about they want to talk to the boss of the some boss or something. Ugh. Okay. So I'm not the boss of anything, but we do need to put lipstick on. So I'm using the 945 Stormy Sahara. I think it's Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline. Uh, it's a lipstick. And this is my one of my favorites. And it's just a really pretty new lipstick. This is one of my favorite lipsticks that I got. Like the nudes lipsticks that I got. And so we're just going to put this on. So this thing matches my lips very closely. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So this is it to my look. Thank you guys for watching my video and getting ready with me. Um, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I post a lot now. And yeah, if like most of the time, so I'm telling you guys, that's where you guys get the updates of when I'm when I am um, uploading a new video or if I'm asking ideas for like what to do next. So if you guys like want to suggest videos, you guys can go follow me on Twitter and you know suggest me ideas. Um, other than that, uh, don't forget, like I said, don't forget to subscribe and please comment and I'll link my social media down there. I don't have a Snapchat. I'm sorry if you guys are like into Snapchat and you want to know my Snapchat. I don't have one. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.